In this video, I will be making a box for my grandpa's ashes, and this feels weird. Uh, I don't want to make this seem like I'm exploiting my grandpa or for sympathy or attention or something. It feels weird making a video for this, but this is honestly just the project that I'm doing this week. So I'm making this box out of ash and aspen. So I will start by milling up some pieces of ash for the sides and the top and the bottom. Now I have all my sides and I'm going to finger joint them all together. And now I have to build some sort of frames to go around the sides. And those frames will fit in the Kumiko that I'll make later. And so I'm going to make these frames out of some Aspen. And so you can see me right here, I'm making all the sides, I'm cutting them, and then I'll rip them at the table saw. And then I'm also going to finger joint those together.
Now at the top and bottom frame both made, I'm going to cut a rabbit into each one. And that rabbit is going to hold the top and bottom panel of ash as well as attached to the box itself. As you can tell, I need a new bit. Now to make the Kumiko, and I thought it was a little bit weird for Kumiko on an urn, but my grandma really likes the Kumiko that I make, and specifically asked for it on the box. So I'm going to be making a pattern that's a little bit different than usual, but it starts out the same as the pattern I'm used to. Also, my Kumiko is usually about a quarter inch thick, and I'll use the router to cut a quarter inch dado for this part, but because the box is so small, I want the Kumiko to be kind of thinner, so I'm going to just make it a eighth inch thick using my radial arm saw to cut the date out. And like I said, the Kumiko is thinner this time, so I'm going to cut it into eighth inch strips. And like usual, like the pattern that I'm used to making, I now have to make the divider pieces to split each of these diamonds into triangles. So I will do that using the table saw.
And this last part is where this pattern differs from the pattern that I'm used to making. And so for this pattern, I need to cut pieces that have a 30 degree angle on each side and then a small dado down the middle of each piece to fit them together later. Because these pieces don't just click together like the other pattern that I used to make. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'll show me putting them together in a minute. This is how the pieces fit together now, and the dado just makes it easier to line everything up while the glue dries. Like I said, without the dado, it kind of, it doesn't click together, it just slides around. So, that's why I cut the dado. Now I have all those little triangle pieces put together and I also had to make a bunch of these little spacers to fit these triangle pieces into place because again this pattern um, it doesn't click together the way that the one that I'm used to making does and I'm, I'm not sure if that makes sense what I'm saying is is that this pattern that I'm used to making only fits a certain way into the pieces and then it just stays there it only fits one way but with this these little triangle things will just like sort of float in the middle and move around unless I have the spacers. And now with the Kumiko done, all that's left is to cut it to size so it fits into the frames. Also this Kumiko is like super delicate because it's so thin. So when I was cutting it with the table saw, a couple of pieces you can see fell out on the edges. So I just had to glue those back in once I had them into the box. I know that this looks like a lot, and that's because it is, but the reason that I'm doing this is to get in between all of these little cracks. There's really, it's really hard to get good coverage. I tried like a spray can before because I thought that would work better. It does not, and so I just will puddle this thing, flood it full, and then I let it drip into this container, and then I can refill my thing when I'm done. So with everything done, these are my grandpa's ashes and they fit perfectly into the box. To be honest, I do not love the way that this turned out. Uh, the Kumiko has more gaps than I would have liked just because I'm not used to this pattern. It was harder than I expected. So I do want to try this pattern again on a future project to make it better.